First up, we want to talk about Chelsea Clinton, because that's the talk of the world right now about this. Where is the wedding? You know, the price tag for the wedding. Who's going to be invited to the wedding? You know, Obama supposedly is going to be there. Oprah Winfrey is supposedly going to be there. But I found this interesting article about what exactly is going to be purchased and for what price, right? Mm -hmm. So apparently the wedding is going to be up in this um, village in New York, about, I think it's a said, 100 miles from New York City. The reception space alone, and this is according to just one estimate from a wedding planner who apparently does a lot of different catering events for a lot of different big wigs. Reception space, 125000 to 200000 That's just for the reception space, not for the catering. You know, a lot of times when you go into these reception spaces, usually they include the catering. That's not the case here, clearly. Catering, $750,000. Apparently, it's going to be about $1,500 each per guest. 500 rumored guests. Can you believe that? Uh, well, l let me stop you right there because I cannot believe that. Here, here's my favorite parts of that. They have three different caterers. Okay, They have a caterer for the cocktail party and then they have a caterer for the dinner. So far I'm with them. Okay, I mean, they're rich, right? But then they have a different caterer because obviously that, those caterers can't do the late night snacks. So that's for the third course. Why can't at least one of the caterers like maybe do the cocktail out and the late night snacks? Right. And not only that, too, but if you look closer down, I mean, there's a rehearsal, the rehearsal dinner, too, the caterer there, too. And that rehearsal dinner is about $250,000. Well, I have to say one thing. I'm sure it will be good for the economy up there. I mean, who knows, you know? No, no, Two million. I, <laughs> no, no, absolutely. And let me tell you something. These, these rich folks are amazing. Okay. And I, look, I, I'm not mad at you. Okay. You got the money. You want to spend it on a wedding. Of course, that's your choice. But for what Zara just mentioned there, the rehearsal dinner, they're sp estimated to spend $50,000 on flowers for the rehearsal dinner alone. For the flowers for the, for the main wedding, the analyst says they're not a very extravagant family, so it's not going to cost very much. Only $250,000. That's crazy. I know. I know. That's absolutely crazy. The invitations alone, $50,000. Just the the wedding name. dress, the wedding dress is fifteen thousand, which I actually find very reasonable because <laughs> I was thinking it would be a lot more than that. I don't know why, but I was just like, well, that's not so bad. <laughs> no, I hear you. No, that's ex the same exact thought I had. I was like, man, after I got to the fifty thousand dollars for the flowers at the rehearsal dinner, the dress seemed downright reasonable. I was like, fifteen thousand dollars. That's it. I know. You know, I, I wanted to tell you something. So last, was it this week, I actually went to um, a fashion show. This guy, Ruben Singer, he's an up-and-coming fashion designer, but pretty well known for the most part, right? So he was telling me that his dresses sell anywhere from like a thousand, I think he said something like above five thousand, like maybe to eight thousand. So that's the range. And he was saying business right now is booming. So here you have the rest of the economy is struggling out there, but the lugs are good people. They're doing really, really well, right? Wall Street money, he says, just pouring in. He's turning away work, and he's really busy. Clearly, maybe Chelsea is not going to him, but I'm just saying that, I mean, you got to give it to them. I mean, these guys have a lot of money to spend, and they're spending it as far as at least this guy was telling me with his uh, fashion designing business. But, Zara, you hit on the exact problem with our economy, and part of the reason we're doing this story, okay? I read a, another article, very similar to the one, or very similar to the conversation you had, where they said actually, quantitatively, the amount of money spent on luxury goods is way up. That's the one part of the economy that's doing really well. And why? Because we've now got a stratified society where the rich are incredibly rich. They're not suffering at all, right? And the poor are very poor, and the middle class are getting dr driven to be even poorer and they can't afford insurance and they got to shoot themselves in the shoulder to get you know treatment or they're or done you know miss a payment by a penny and they're out the door whether it's their uh, their house or their insurance payments etc and we've got this stratified society where somebody thinks hey it's not extravagant to spend a quarter of a million dollars on flowers for your wedding I, I mean there's something dramatically wrong with our economy 